Good morning, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here, and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button <clears throat> and the notification bell. So, I've been a bit blurry eyed this morning, even though I've been up a little while, I can't seem to shake it, shake the the sleepy funk that I was in. Well, <laughs> I got up a smidge late, not, not too late, but a smidge. And knowing how slow my internet is, this will look like I've got up really late. Now, I haven't got any makeup on at all. Now, normally I only put, that just makes me red. I don't know why I did it. Uh, touch my face, get red. That's the way my, look, I can red up. I can get like a tomato just by doing that. But I haven't got any on this morning, not powder or anything, because after I finish talking to you, I'm going to go and derma roll. Yes. Another one. I haven't, um... I don't know when the last time I did it was. Um, I know I've had a really busy week, so that's probably why I haven't. Um, um, is this the one? Yeah, intermission one, that's the one. I'm going to have to uh, shed a little bit of light on it today, I think, this morning. It's very dim in here, I don't know why. Okay, do you remember when ice cube trays were made of metal? and had levers well i remember when they were made of metal but as don't think we had any levers you just used to have to try your hardest to prize them out but by, by kind of pushing it or twisting it or something i don't remember levers that's a good idea though they probably the posh ones probably had levers Sometimes you just have to put them in a little bit of, just stand them in a little bit of warm water to tease them out. That's how I used to get mine out. What we got today? Well, hey, we are Monday the 19th. It's flying by, isn't it? February, February, So, being that it's birthday month, and I didn't do that many, I might do a giveaway today. Just, um, just because I can, really. Just because I can. Now, I do have a very special book review a bit later on. Oh, my God, I do look red. I should have put powder on. I could at least took it off. Oh, well. <clears throat> I'm not normally as red as this. <laughs> Just look a little bit. Mm, lobstery. I sat down the other day and Gary went, why are you so red? I went, I don't know, Gary. I really don't. I haven't done anything. <laughs> Just, Just ignore it. <laughs> so, I almost touched my face. I don't know. I just get red. It's weird, isn't it? But I do. When I was a child, if I knew that, I could have gone, I'm ill, mum. I can't go to school. <laughs> <coughs> but um, obviously, oh my God, now I've made it worse. I didn't know about that then. <laughs> Would have been a great trick if only I'd known. I was really slow on the uptake about my dad as well, because my sister said, "Oh, you know, when you went in dad's room and he was tired, it just gives you as much money as you wanted. But if you asked him any other time, he'd be like, no." And I was really slow to cut on to that. You know, it happened to me a few times, but I didn't twig. Do this every time. She did. That means she's cleverer than me, or she just know. <laughs> well, she told me back then. I wish she did. I'd have had a lot more pocket money in my life. Loads more comics and sweets and stuff. <laughs> oh, Lord. can't believe that. So, um, hopefully this section will be finished soon and we get some jokes. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, we've got a whole page. And then it gets... Oh, no, wait a minute. Look at that, two pages. Yeah, then we get on to You Know Your Old When. What have I written in there? Oh, an address. That's right. <clears throat> I've written it down somewhere. Really appropriate place. You know, you want something you like scout round for a piece of paper. I mean, obviously, I've got pieces of paper now, but um, back then, obviously, I didn't. And so I wrote, oh, no, I'll write it in that book. I won't lose it then. Just won't see it anymore. That's all until you get to the end of the book. <coughs> I have a delivery coming today. Um, I've got a feeling it's from Tulip, though, and mostly the free stocks. Because um, those eye cord knitters, oh, I can't get them fast enough. I thought, you know, I ordered about 
I had two. I ordered eight. And I thought, that'll keep me in stock. And they just go. And as soon as I... It's eBay, really, where I tend to sell those. And if those people found my shop, they'd get them a bit cheaper, which is sad. Because eBay, their fees are evil. They really are. Um, selling little bits is fine, but if you've got something that's like about 30 something 40 pounds then they take around seven pound 15 off you to sell that which is oh, that is mental isn't it you know so they want you to have competitive prices on there but they take so much money from you they make it impossible for you to really be as competitive as you'd like so <clears throat> yeah I think their fees are disgusting. They don't need to take so much. They really don't. It's just greed, isn't it? I think, personally. Because, you know, other other ways to pay don't take that kind of money. Hmm. Yeah. If, I actually went to a place called eBid once, which was an alternative to eBay, but I never sold anything. <laughs> People didn't know. And I kept trying to promote it as much as I could because the fees were so reasonable and you could sell as much as you want then and people could buy as much as they want, but no one ever really took it up. eBay, by that time, had just cornered the market and no one was interested in any, any alternatives, which was sad because, you know, why pay more? I need to blow my nose, guys. I do, and I can't... I don't know where I put my tissues. They were there. I have three packs in there, but I can't find them. So I'm just going to pause it a second. I'll be right back. Uh, and bag. Now I've got a red nose to match. So this top's got in big gold letters, chill out, written on it. <laughs> chill out. I reminded myself of Terminator 2 then, when he was trying to teach him slang words. Oh, I needed that. Wow. That is actually my first cup of the day. I did get up earlier, but I... Put the kettle on and forgot to make it. So after I'd done the cat, you know, gave her food, stopped her whinging and did loads and loads of things, I thought, oh, I better do my tea. So, <clears throat> but it gave me a chance to weigh myself this morning. So I'm doing, still doing well. I did think that I might have a bit of a blip on the scales because yesterday I made chicken Alfredo and um, that's very creamy and saucy. And although that cream cheese you're allowed on the diet, and everything I put in it, you're allowed. So it was kind of low carb. I wondered. I wondered if it would push me um, just a little bit over the edge because it was a thick, creamy, stodgy food. But I only had a little one, really, because it's very filling. And um, for breakfast, I had sausages. <laughs> I had sausages. I had sausages because I thought, oh, I'll, put, I'll cook the sausages and I'll just have one or two. I ate four. Four sausages. So I didn't have anything else because I ate four, four sausages. I can't believe I ate that many. But they were so... When I, when, I, <laughs> when, when I ate one, they were like, oh, that's so good. So I ate another one and this went on. But I craved them as soon as I... So I can't... I need another one. But what it is, when you cook them in the air fryer... They're amazing. They really are. Anyway, there's two left. I bet Gary took them to work. He took some of my Alfredo to work. And I bet he found the sausages as well. That was... If he didn't, I'm having them for breakfast, I tell you. They were, they were cool. Okay, <clears throat> enough of my... Oh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm doing really well on the diet. That's, that's what I was getting at. So, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm glad about that. It needs to come off quicker. Although I've, well, I've lost almost a stone and it hasn't been that long since I started, so I shouldn't really whinge, but, you know, I'm a whinger. What can I say? I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I do. <coughs> um, yes, yeah, so I've got a really good Open With Me book. It's coming up later. And I might do a giveaway because my big spurting off about birthday... Uh, giveaways and I haven't really done that many have I did a few extra but it's not many um <clears throat> so 
looking forward to getting my parcel i don't think i've got any others coming although i may do but i don't think so but yeah these eye coordinators they just fly out the door as soon as i get them in it's i shouldn't complain but they, they are they were out of stock for like uh i'd say about a good eight months and i thought oh, i wish i'd you know i wonder if they discontinued and as soon as they come back in that's it started flying out the door again but they are far superior to any other eye coordinator that are out there um i've seen a few i was going to stock the egg because one of my uh, suppliers does that but it just <clears throat> not as good none of them are uh what else i forgot to tell you let me think oh yes i've been working on some beanies interestingly right oh see throw that one it's myself now this one i showed you yesterday and it is very, very soft. You can tell how the dra with the drape, it's just absolutely amazingly soft. So I thought I'd make one out of the teal. Okay, so it's slightly different. And it is actually bigger. It's only bigger across there. And I don't think it's such a major problem. But um, I did it differently, look. I don't know if this... I did um, a bit of a, a swatch of colours, uh, of, of stitches really, throughout this bit. And then started on my rib. I've got I went back into the plane and then I started the rib. So when I measure it up against, it's the same length, just a tad wider. And I don't think that's a bad thing, to be honest. In a way. I'll show you. Um I think I've got to do one more. You can see I've got to do one more rib row. Rib row. But you can see it's just a tad. A smidgeroni bigger, only a little bit. <clears throat> I don't think it's noticeable. And then I thought I'd try and make one out of this. This is Tranquil and it's got some absolutely gorgeous colours in it. But this one is Aran. So obviously it's quite a long while for the colour changes. So I don't know what that's going to end up looking like. So yeah, jury's out on that one. Beautiful to work with. I love that. So much nicer than the DK Mandala by the same company oh my mamma mia <clears throat> i went to bed quite late ish i, I was still looking for a, a new program to watch and i ended up watching one i can't even remember the name of it and it said it boasted that it was designated survivor meets 24 so i thought those are grand claims those are because i loved both of those series both kiefer of course didn't have kefir in it and um, that was the biggest drawback of it the standard of acting was not as good as i've kind of been <clears throat> and it was about opening gambit female president shot and then bloke runs away gets amnesia and so no one really knows what happened and that's that's kind of the gist of the whole thing and it, how it twists and turns along the way so <clears throat> i kind of got into it a little bit i think i watched two or i turned it off because i got tired but it was late never mind i thought well you know i can have a little lay in if i want it doesn't really matter too much i don't know if i'll go back to it i might do i might go back and see how it is I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. It's not gripped me, you know. But I was able to crochet while I while I watched it, so that's that's cool. I did look for a live stream, but I couldn't see any. And I thought maybe Dee had put up a little notice saying she wouldn't do it. I couldn't read it because my phone was on dark. <laughs> I had it on dark, and I thought, I, re I can't read that. I can't. I can't put it back <clears throat> on bright and come back to it. It'd be gone. So I didn't do it. But I um, did see um, Linda, just a crochet sister's announcement that she's not going to be on anymore. That she's had some um, kind of medical news that she, you know, she just wants to concentrate on family and that. And Julie showed me that, or told me that it was uh, on there. So I had a little look. But bless her heart, she's been going with all these really awful medical conditions she's been plugging away for all this time and you know it's quite right she concentrates on family and 
enjoying her life and her and everything so bless her but it is it is a sad thing you know but i wish you all the best and i'm gonna just pause it a second because you know i've got a blow again i'll be right back sorry about that but you know what since we've decorated or bit done the last few things we did and and i washed the windows down in here and and completely um done a bit of dry a uh, dry clean a bit of <coughs> cleaning what's the word spring cleaning not even spring yet but i got all the the stuff down and um cleaned off that cupboard up there because i wanted to put things like my um gimbals up there and everything because that's the only tall one where they fit but um it didn't really work out and I got, my ears popped ah <laughs> there it is <clears throat> so <clears throat> since we did that <clears throat> and we renewed the ceiling and things like that apart from the the dust fall that you get when you drag a ceiling down i have to say i've not had any mornings where i've felt bunged up and sniffy and all that until this morning where I've just blown my nose a couple of times, but it's still not. <clears throat> I still didn't wake up all sneezy and snotty like I have been. So we've got, must have conquered it from somewhere. I don't know which one it was of all the things that we've done, but one of those things. Cheers, guys. Have a quick slurp. <sighs> Lovely. One of those things has definitely worked. <clears throat> The reason I'm <clears throat> like this is because we pulled a ceiling down and, it's, you know, it's impossible to get rid of all of the dust from it. And I am allergic to dust, you know, I am. And I haven't heard from the dermatologist, I think, come to think of that. I, I've got an appointment this side of Christmas, but I can't remember when. Possibly March, I think. I'd love to have a look. I might have written it down. Although, I might not. But I should have an email. We're getting red again, aren't I? <clears throat> you might think, no, you don't look red. What are you talking about? But on my look back, it does look red. But then it's very dark. It's one of those phones that's on dark. So, in theory, I could be even redder than I think. I could be sitting here looking like I've got third degree burns, for all I know. I haven't. It, all I did was have a little washy and touch my face. That's basically it. Maybe this looks better. That's probably better. This is a lovely cup of tea. Biscuit tea, of course. Biscuit tea. Okay, so another thing I want to do <clears throat> is I want to finish this here whip. I now have a home for this blanket because as it transpired... Yes, uh, I think yesterday we, we heard that um, Charlotte, Gary's daughter, is having a boy. So, as it's got blue and kind of cream colour, this one can be for her. So I will finish the said blanket. <clears throat> and it'll give me an opportunity to make a few more. I always feel like, I mean, I do have a whole box of blankets <coughs> that I've made. That I do occasionally. My sister came down and her granddaughter was pregnant. So I said, oh, here, have this one because it was a girl. So that pink one that I made that I invented the stitch for, that one, um, the chunky, was gone. But there's others in there waiting for homes. None of them blue, though. All of them pink <laughs> or multicoloured, I think. They're all, I've got one that's the feels like butter yarn that was darkish kind of pink. That was hard. That was when I decided let's see if we can mile a minute a V stitch, and then do the the joining as a V, which was difficult, but I got it and did a tutorial for it. <clears throat> I like that a lot. It's and it feels like velvet. This does too. This is the feels like heaven, which um, also feels really really nice. I have to say, I don't have an awful lot of feels like butter left. I think I might have given it away. Yeah, I think I might have because I've used it and I didn't have any any home for it. So there's a few things I want to get on with. Um, I will do these tutorials. I'll do this one, I know, for sure, because I like this one. 
that one was just a variation on the theme but uh when i'll do that uh sometime hopefully this week cheers my dears i'm gonna get off and upload this and um go do my derma roll in because next time you see me i don't want to look like a tomato yes i probably should have just powdered took it off and then derma rolled but i just felt like there might be residue left if i did that so i don't want to derma roll it in if you know what i mean <clears throat> thank you for watching and um looking at my patchy beetroot face and i will see you on the next one thanks for watching bye bye for now to you guys Cheerio, bye-bye, ta-ta.